locked in Clocked in, I'm locked in I might not be a top 10 But I'm the realest nigga to ever, ever put his socks in A pair of moccasins, my confidence, competence My common sense, I'm convinced that I'm the best at pumping shit Blame my pops, he ain't come to the game So it was either go deep or go insane So I swung for defenses the whole game But I was more of a base hitter than a race hitter oh my Searching for justice, just trying to figure out Round to round, no doubt, I was low down with pal Wouldn't take much to get you choked out, but I'm cool, baby I ain't been a fool lately Dude, thank me, these dudes hate me We've been making moves lately Whether it's Yo, 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 we back with another <clears throat> Allergies kill him With another dish in the best podcast you never heard of This is the Casita Nobody <clears throat> Episode 222 <laughs> the name is fucked up. It's all fucked up. F'd up if you're reading it and it's the clean version. You already know who I am. This was Taurus, aka Dark Skin Thanos, aka Heartthrob Harrison, aka the fan of facts, aka the commodity. We're about to have another fantastic show, critically acclaimed show. They had us on um all the publications, lauding our performances as the two best podcasters in the studio in Indianapolis. Oh, and that's I'm all not, facts. I'm not inclined to it. disagree. I'm biased in a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> it's all true. It's all true. You know, we do got a great show. We got a, a few topics uh, cooked up. We're going to talk about some local news. Uh, the, the This Grand Theft Auto heist that went wrong mm, mm, involving mm. three people versus one. We got... This Netflix crime syndicate that they rolling out. <clears throat> Netflix mm-hmm. cracking down on you criminals. These we also have our tidbits from the Tory Lanes versus what state they in? California. Who, who, to, who, who, oh, I think somebody so. Tory Lanes and Meg, oh. Megan V <laughs> Stallion uh, trial. Also, we got some things involving the sad situation with Percy and Romeo. And then the egregious, in my opinion, gangs over sexualizing his 12 year old daughter, setting her out to get that ass tapped. Mm, mm, That's the only way mm, I can describe that. Mm. But before we get into all that, you already know who I am with the man of the hour, the <laughs> best intro in podcast history. It's your boy, Jason Richie, aka Cole Jason R, aka Vanessa Williams, aka Simi, Simi the Cash. On Cash App, Ben Mo, Call of Duty Ho, let's go. AKA Marty McHigh, AKA Senor Tezito to the Latino people, AKA Andrew P. Richard, AKA Drew P. Dick, nigga, AKA your favorite comedian, guys. Welcome to the fucking show. Welcome. Meow, meow, meow. He don't gotta do that. <laughs> I just like fucking doing a Michael Winslow. I was just about to say you ain't got a Michael Winslow in this shit. Shout out to Michael Winslow, anybody who ever grew up watching the Police Academy. You were you will get that reference. Yes. Before we do proceed, oh nigga, I I think this is the first time I heard the Call of Duty drop. Have you been playing? Man, scarcely. I ain't gonna lie, man. I done got back into life again. (laughs) I done got back into life again. I did a comedy show recently. That's a good segue into that, right? After we get through talking about Call of Duty. Oh, uh, I be shooting him. <laughs> this is all real shit, though. Uh, I feel like I ain't get to show all my stupid death don't move when we're playing. When you off this weekend, we definitely got to get some gaming in. I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I'm with getting it. to learn the boards a little bit. This yeah, week, I'm, I'm like, yeah. This sure. is my first time playing Warzone. You play Warzone? I played it once. Bro. I wasn't that good. I need teammates. I uh, need friends. I ain't going to say I was good at it. I just was like, what the hell is this? I need friends to get on there and help me. I like yeah. the ground war, but I don't play the war zone. It's yeah. all good. This it's weekend, same. This week, I don't know. Okay. This weekend, we got to get busy. With that said, away from tragedy to comedy. My segue wasn't as good as yours. We'll take it. You did the corporate gig you're talking about? Yeah. How'd that go? That went good. We did a, uh, a, a, a holiday party for Methodist Hospital. Uh, it was for a bunch of doctors. Uh, so that was cool. Um, and I thought it was going to be like a smaller uh, crowd because this is a holiday party. So I'm like, yeah, it's going to be small like the last corporate gig I did. But that shit was like a fucking gala. Like, <laughs> this shit was like, motherfucking, 
niggas was in suits and shit. And I came in that bitch looking like a, a, a nigga ass lumberjack and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. Uh, all right. And then it was fun. Me and Lance did the show. Uh, shout out to Lance. Uh, Lance Allen. Uh, it was a good ass show. He, I was just the opener. I opened up for him, and he uh, went out there. And they was trying to be tight ass at first. Uh, admittedly, they was trying to act like they wasn't doctors and shit and yeah. all this shit. I'm like, where the fuck am I at? So you know, I had to be the bullet catcher to fill out the crowd and shit. And then Lance came out. Let the pawns go first. And, yeah, and then uh, they was trying to be tight, but in the acoustics so bad on these was fucking it? shows. Where was this at? This is at Methodist Hospital, Here? like in some. Uh, and Gary. Gary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was still a nice they facility. They do surgery with spoons in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was still a nice facility. Uh, but they were, they was tight as fuck. But Lance was roasting niggas. Was it? Uh, so yeah. So you like making yeah. them, uh, and they relax. got they got loose after that. So that was yeah. it was cool. Um, Overall, was it fun? Yeah, a lot of fun, man. I want, definitely want to do it again. Um, a friend, an old friend from high school. Uh, uh, Brittany, she uh, hooked the oh, thing up. You got a romantic story. Nah, nah. She, oh, yeah. This ain't my, nah, this ain't like that. <laughs> it's like really somebody <laughs> went to school with and they, yeah, was I like, know. they was like, uh, who can we get? What do we do for I used to like you in the first period. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm fucking with you. No! Uh, they like, who can we get? And she used to suggest it us, so shout out to her. Um, doing shout out to her for looking at Like for real, for real. What did she do? She's, uh, I want to say, Physical, some sort of therapy, so, some kind of doctor related. Definitely shit. a doctor. That's what's up, man. That's why it's cool to have people that you cool with in various walks of life. You yeah, never for know sure. how many doors can be opened up in that regard. And and the only last thing I was gonna say was, um, it was cool to go there and network with the doctors afterwards too. Because like I said, my son want to be a doctor, and so yeah. you know I'm definitely trying to holler at them like, hey man, what do you got to do, man? Hey, what do you got to do? And they was awesome. Oh man, we'll give them a referral if you want. Like they yeah, was talking cool. about recommendations and yeah. all type of shit. And they they was really pointing like they, they I got their info and shit. Like wanted to join the frat. But these niggas was like these niggas is like niggas though. Like they was like a frat. Yeah. Because they was talking about how they be fucking off in the operation room and shit. Motherfucker said they be throwing legs and shit around and talking shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, when motherfuckers unconscious. What, what motherfuckers said they, they just amputated the leg, threw a leg at a motherfucker like thick fast. They like ah, like Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> they, I'm like that's, that's they got macabre. they got my mm -hmm. type of sense of humor. <laughs> it was what I just what I discovered. So. Listen, nigga, if I ever gotta get some shit cut off, I'm not going to gear. Oh, get my, my shit cut off. I, I expect nothing less out of that. Nigga, the leg gone, nigga. What nigga, you Nigga, but it's my gone leg. They didn't throw it at you. It's my gone leg. I don't <laughs> like that. Hey. It's green. That's what we are. We gang green. We got a whole gang of green. You don't but, want that, but yeah. Well, how, was, how would you feel? You walk in there and you see some motherfuckers throwing your daddy's leg, your mama's leg, your sister's leg, your brother's leg. I'd be like, these niggas was in there. I will say it. I would repeat it exactly what, how it happened. And niggas going to be like, what? So Dr. Jeffrey did like this. I'm not going to do nothing but retail to tell. I'm I, like, I, I, I start seeing dollars on. I had a doctor when I had to get uh, uh, stitches in my hand. This motherfucker going to start making my hand talk. Nigga, I was like, what the fuck? And my mama didn't do nothing. She was like, why you didn't hit him? I was like, I didn't know I could. I thought you was going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do? Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, he told that. He told that story. The rest of his life, I had this nigger hand talking. Boy, I, he, I had a nigger puppet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you he was, he was that motherfucker numbed me up. He was like, see, you can't even. Yeah, he was like, see, you can't even feel. <laughs> 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 hey, he thought he was having fun. Well, he was having fun at your expense. Uh, turn me into uh, the WB How long was your set? Uh, I did twenty or twenty five minutes or something like that. I that was, was I got away with the time. They was like trying to uh, kind of Sandman came out. No, they was trying to synthesize the performance to begin with. They was trying to cut it down. Like if y'all don't want to do the whole time, it's okay. Like before we was ready to go. Yeah, so yeah. they was up there getting sauced and they ain't had no water in that bitch. Yeah. So they was drunk, drunk. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. Uh, I wonder, yeah, what's the funniest thing you seen when you was in surgery? I'll ask him some silly That was shit. the type of shit they was talking about. They yeah. was like, man, we making so many inappropriate jokes and we gotta go to HR. People be forgetting that people are people. Yeah. Like people want sure. I was thinking about this uh when I was looking at a policeman the other day. And and it, it's it's taught behavior, learned behavior. When mm -hmm. we see police, we straighten up, we fly right, we slow down, put our seatbelts on instead of straight. Bounce off. And we be giving them motherfuckers a lot of power, man. It's fucking strange to me, dude. I'm powerful scared. They're behind us. I'm mighty powerfully scared. I'm powerful scared, not powerfully. 
I'm powerful scared, nigga. Man, listen, kid, that's that, that's uppity slave talk. That's powerful. uppity slave talk no, right there. Powerful hunger. Right. <laughs> I'm about to start. I ain't gonna take you. I ain't gonna say power. I'm about to start saying my. I'm mighty, mighty hungry. Mighty I'm hungry. Mighty hungry. But we are about to have a fantastic yeah. show. We're gonna kick it off like we always do with a bit of low code news. Fresh off the main streets of Indianapolis. This is like a episode of Power. Loco, nigga, is the least that's involving the, Tommy. Jeez. Ghost man. and some unnamed. Don't lady. you say nah, don't put Tommy in this. This is real this is crazy than that. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Come on, guy. You wanna get my dope or what? <laughs> Girlfriend, grandmother received text showing man held hostage before murder. Mm, mm, mm. Three people have been arrested for the murder of one man who was kidnapped, beaten, and killed on the city's east side. Court documents indicate he was killed in a dispute over a missing vehicle. The Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department announced the arrest of 35-year-old Christina Clark, 29-year-old Jocelyn Johnson, and 21-year-old Jaheen Miller on Thursday night. Are you following these women? 21. You should be somewhere enjoying life. You out here thugging out with some older women. I'll, yeah, go ahead. Hey, it said the they are being accused of the murder involving the 28 year old Corbin Robert Rogers. All three face preliminary charges of murder and kidnapping. IMPD found his body while investigating a burglary in the ones your block of North Euclid Avenue on December the eighth. That's near the intersection of Washington and Emerson. Uh, this is the funny shit to me right here. This funny because. Niggas really, it's sitcom -y. Not sitcom, but what? Because you don't call shows like The Wire sitcoms, do you? Just what? It's drama. Dramas. It's drama. Uh, yeah. Dispatchers told officers that maintenance workers at an apartment complex had chased a suspect to a vacant house. When officers began searching the house at Duplex, they found Rogers in a pool of blood. Spent cases were around his body. The Marion County Coroner's Office said that he had been shot multiple times and his death was ruled a homicide. Big law and order Where shit. Where do you find these kind of maintenance workers at? Do you think they was undercover cops? Working on some kind of undercover drug but This ain't your typical uh, my uh, dishwasher not working niggas. I'm not chasing nobody. At all. And I work maintenance? At all. That's why it's <laughs> weird. This yeah, you chase weird. this nigga with monkey wrenches and shit. Like, we gonna tune him up. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, and IMPD off detective spoke with Roger's girlfriend and his grandmother. This it is where it gets funny. It's not the tragic, the death part ain't funny. That's the only that's this the least funny kind part. of funny. Uh, his grandmother told the detective that she received a call from Roger's cell phone at just after 3 15 p.m. on December the 7th. She said that when she answered, she heard her grandson begging for five thousand dollars. Black grandmother. How do you not? How she said she responded, but what do you think she really said? What? Wait, go ahead. You got to be the man. You got to be the dude. Hey, Grandma. Baby. Grandma. Yeah, baby. Grandma, they got me. Who got you? Oh, Grandma, it's three. They got you. Shut up, nigga. Just say what she told you to say. I need $5,000, Grandma. $5,000 for what? Because they going to kill me. They said I took a car, Grandma. They going to kill take it, nigga. you. Car. You heard him, old bitch. You gonna kill me. Tell me I'm five thousand dollars. Grandma, grandma, help me, grandma. No damn five thousand dollars. Grandma, I'll pay it back. You know I'm good for it. You ain't give me the five thousand of them last We gonna kill him, bitch. You ain't get my change when grandma, you went to the store. Grandma, they said they gonna kill me, bitch. I mean, they called you a bitch, grandma. Help me, grandma. Why you come? Boy, I know you better watch your tone. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Getting> sidetracked. <laughs> You seen them bitches. <laughs> hey, Call me a bitch. She <laughs> give you know, five thousand. She told the detective that she also heard a woman's voice yelling about a car that had been stolen. The call then disconnected, but shortly later, she said she received a picture via text message from her grandmother's cell phone. Baby, <laughs> baby, who took this? You this the Google? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh fuck! Witness one received a text message from Corbin's cell phone showing Corbin sitting in a vehicle with two masked men on either side. Oh my Tommy God. And Ghost. No, no, no. This Kane and Tommy. <laughs> Ghost was down. Ghost was at Mecca. Like this. <laughs> hey, he on everything. They got this nigga. Now, this is theatrical. It's crazy because clearly they seen Something. this on TV. And what's crazy is because they, they arrested a 21 year old dude and two females. 
But in this picture, it said it was two masked men on either side of him. So I can only assume that one of these bitches was burly. Mm -hmm. I, I said the same thing. I was like, they both had to be burly. Hell yeah. The two masked men were pointing what appeared to be handguns at Corbin's head. I'm not doing all this for $5,000, man. I'm not doing all this for I don't want to be at this state of poverty where I start doing shit like this for $5,000. They're not saying his age. Who? Corbin. He was 28. Oh, okay. Yeah. The two masked uh, men were pointing what appeared to be handgun at Corbin's head. Witness one stated she received another text message from Corbin's phone stating that Corbin would be soon dead if they did not receive this money. This is his girlfriend. Random text message. This is a girlfriend. Now, what she? Well, how do you think she responded? Because she, she pretty much, I'm sure, know what type of lifestyle he was in. First off, let's proceed real quick. And we're going to wrap this up soon. Roger's girlfriend told the detective that she received a video on Facebook, amateurs, from a woman claiming to be holding Roger's hostage. The Facebook message allowed investigators to identify Clark as a suspect in the case. This is goofball bridge. What, has, what was she watching? To, 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 to just set it off because she could clearly bring run it. some money. She in the dark thinking they can't see her and shit, like trying to talk deep and shit. All right, go ahead. <laughs> she also told police that Rogers and Clark had been squatting in a vacant apartment together. She said that she spoke to Rogers around 2 p.m. on December 17th. Now, this is where it gets real weird. It's a homeless beef because they were squatting. Her boyfriend was squatting with another woman. And the woman sent the video like, hey, bitch. Yeah, yeah. So it, it wasn't, she wasn't even trying to hide, basically, is what I'm gathering from it. Corbin was attempting to sell a car to a uh, witness for witness five. Everybody That's why I'm like, geez, Louise. Corbin was attempting to sell a car to witness five on behalf of Christina Clark. They stopped at a gas station on Corbin, and Corbin went inside, at which time witness five drove off with the car, a black Nissan Altima. Corbin told witness two he called Clark and told witness five, and told her witness five, so the Nissan and Clark told Cur Corbin that she would kill him if she didn't re he didn't return the car. I love him. As witness I spoke it. with Corbin, she heard a vehicle pull up and heard a female yelling at Corbin and wish time to call disconnect. So was he really an innocent bystander and did the nigga run off with the car? These niggas is crackhead. This is some weird shit. <laughs> Young junkies. Uh, they went to a nearby gas station and Corbin asked them to take the Nissan and park it at the apartment. Complex across the street from Baltimore Apartments. Witness Fire took the car and parked it in the Blackburn Terrace Apartments. Witness Fire got back in the pickup truck. He drove there and left. Listen, this is a lot of shit. You told me we should do this, this, which we are at the end. But this is a lot of shit for a fucking news article. Yeah, this is like a, a lot of witness. Yeah, that's a deposition. Hell yeah. He said he began to receive threatening calls from Clark, accusing him of stealing the car. First off, man, ain't no bitch gonna call me dirty, me. A bitch gonna call me and say, I'm gonna get somebody to do something. <laughs> you ain't, I'm scared of this Clark bitch. You better get my money. Clark, she, she got a history of doing, of, of being a blunder, doing dumb crime. She's blundering and plundering. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, on Wednesday, police pulled over the vehicle containing, come on, man, Clark, Johnson, and Miller. In an interview with <laughs> uh, police, Johnson indicated the stolen vehicle was a rental car. These niggas are all three together. Car. It's nobody's car. They tried to get a rental car and sell it. Court documents do not indicate that any of the suspects admitted to killing Rogers. Uh, at this time, charges had been filed, but according to update, they had been filed. They got offered in custody. All three are men being there, but nobody saying that they was a shooter. Who your money on is a shooter? A girlfriend. It's a 21 year old. Uh, Dude, shot him. I don't. I can't say unless it's the Clark girl where she felt like she had to make her bump break, her, make her bones. Yeah, I don't know who she was, so she can set off her uh, rod, her ascent to the gang lure leader. I mean, perhaps he, he she he was twenty eight and there's a twenty nine year old girl, so maybe it was a maybe. That I was. told that boy I ain't had my check yet. Is it's, that what she said when he told him that? When she finally got news that uh, grandbaby wasn't coming home. How do you convince other niggas to do this? Like, what is it? She 35, he 21. I don't think it's that hard. A good shot a of that, oh, that 35 snapper. <laughs> <A threesome. laughs> At 21, man, you can be uh, 
A 35-year-old, a 20... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I might watch the door while they shoot you. <laughs> I might watch the door. 21 is impressionable as hell. Like, they always talk about, like, how girls get influenced when they're super young. Mm -hmm. And it's a different type of influence. And what it is, like, boys be influenced to try to prove they tough. To a, to, you know what I'm saying? An older mm -hmm. girl. Yeah. I tried to find their pictures and shit to see what they look like. They're not like. releasing it. Yeah. They not, I'm talking, I'm talking about, like, on social media. It's like it's the mug shots. Uh, uh, oh, you try, you try to look up the names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I got you. I'm sure they Obama phone with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, how they found them. The track these motherfuckers, they, everybody not made to be a criminal. Uh, speaking of criminals. Or TV shows. Shit. They talking about niggas is criminals. Getting scary. It's Netflix. Getting, it's getting scary. Talking about customers could go to prison. It's getting scary. Prison! It's getting scared. For sharing their password. It's nigga. getting scared. That's what it's like, nigga. It says sharing a password uh, for a streaming service such as Netflix could land you in hot water mm. in the UK. Not no cool. Right boy. now. Um, the country's IPO issued guidance on uh, December 19th saying that accessing apps without paying a subscription is an infringement of copyright and you may be committing a crime. Mm. Yeah, they said that they made a statement and an announcement about his joint campaign with uh, Facebook to give guidance to people uh, to avoid pirated and counterfeit goods online. Piracy is a major issue for the entertainment issue, uh, en entertainment and creative industries, it wrote on its website. Um, pasting Internet images into your social media without permission. Or accessing films, TV series, or live sports events through Cody boxes, <laughs> hacked fire sticks, or apps without paying a subscription is an infringement of copyright, and you may be committing a crime. <laughs> Just in case anyone, you didn't know. If you know anyone who's committing a crime, please report them. But hold on, nigga. I'm sorry. I got to stop for a second. Pasting it. Internet images into your social now media. That, now that's scary. That's extreme, that's scary. nigga. That's, that, scary. that's extreme. The law applies to Netflix password sharing, but other uh, also other streaming services, including Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and Apple TV Plus. But despite its recent uh, recently published guidance, a spokeswoman, uh, the IPO told Nick Newsweek, copyright law remains unchanged. And there are a range of provisions in criminal and civil law which may be applicable in the case of password sharing where the intent is to allow a user to access copyrighted protected works without payment. These provisions may include breach of contractual terms, fraud, and secondary copyright infringement, depending on the circumstances. Where these provisions are provided in civil law, it would be up to the service provider to take action through the courts if required. So in the case of Netflix, it's the responsibility of the member who created the Netflix account and whose payment method is charged for any activity uh, that occurs through the account. So if you the account holder and niggas get a hold of your shit, they still going to blame you. <laughs> Basically what they said. To maintain control over the account and to prevent anyone from accessing the account. The account owner should maintain control over the Netflix ready devices. Like all their TVs in the house, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you, you <help laughs> Even when you sell them bitches. Great power comes responsibility. Or when you got a pawn them because you can't afford Netflix no more. <laughs> uh, and not reveal the password or the details of the payment method associated with the account to anyone. The terms of service read. We can terminate your account or place your account on hold. In order to protect you, <laughs> <laughs> Netflix or our partners from identity theft or other fraudulent activity, mainly other fraudulent activity. Definitely. Um, and then October, Netflix revealed it would uh, take a tougher stance on net uh, password shares as it fights a decline in subscribers. <laughs> right? They're shaking a stern finger. They keep paying for them dumb ass shows over paying people. And don't and don't even know who half these niggas is for the comedy specials. Right. Netflix claimed uh, of the 222 million households around the world with subscriptions, there were a uh, hundred million additional <laughs> households. <laughs> households, nigga. Not TVs, not nigga household. Um, getting access through the password sharing. And they argued that the practice made it 
uh, more difficult for the company to expand the service um and productions in the new mar markets netflix does offer shared accounts with separate profiles and multiple streams in its plan but they're only applicable to people living under the same roof that's y'all fault yeah. sound like a fucking business yeah. bro Ooh, personal right literally um while these have been hugely popular they have also created some confusion about when and how netflix can be shared as a result Accounts are being shared between households, impacting our ability to invest in great in new TV and everywhere. films for our members. Yeah. Everybody shared Netflix passwords. Netflix need to tread lightly, though, because you could lose all your fucking money being this. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. And what, what it is, they, they felt their fall off like after the pandemic. Everybody was fucking with Netflix. All streaming services went through the roof. Stocks went through the roof. So once the outside opened back up, they it's started losing money. All right. And now, like, what kind of forecasters do you have to where you don't see this coming? You we know what I'm saying? Know it makes no fucking sense, man. We ain't going too much well on that yeah. uh, Netflix. Up yours. Come and get me. <laughs> Come and get me. Come and get Come me. And get me I'm, a I'm a ruthless streamer, bitch. Roof. Tory, 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 man. Tory, Tory, Tory. Shout out to Tory Lang. Shout out to uh, Megan V. Stallion. They are out here. <laughs> <Our news. laughs> Listen, first off, the trail kicked off last week. And I want to say the most egregious thing that I've seen so far. Egregious. Was this bitch coming out there looking like Grimace last week? I didn't see this. Go look at her outfit she had on, man. That bitch look like she ate Prince. <laughs> I have no idea why they had her in that purple outfit, man. She and trial? Like she looked like Grimace, man. Everything has a motive. Like they usually set people up to wear certain things to convey something. I don't know what kind of, uh, what she was trying to channel, what she was trying to invoke. But royalty. That bitch kind of looked like Sinbad in the outfit, man. It looked like a Sinbad outfit. Pull up, look up Megan's trial. Uh, it's a uniform. That's what the fuck, it was a uniform. Uh, it looked like a mixture, like she. She was built like Sinbad in there. I don't know if she is trying to hide her figure when she flaunts and she's not hiding for anybody. She's trying to look professional. I think she should have wore a Momo, something more appropriate. Symbolic. That's what it said. Yeah. That's what it said for real. Appears to have symbolic meaning. I knew it had to be some sort of symbolism. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm not sure that we're going to get it from there. Yeah. It definitely wasn't that. Uh, man, your fucking Google is trash. No offense. She's wearing purple, which is the color for domestic violence that's survivors. A, I mean, Hashtag we stand with Megan. That's manipulative. Mm, that's mm, super that's manipulative. Sickening, but bro. she she trying to. Mm, Let me see. That's images. crazy. That's crazy right there. Oh, okay, I see. Bitch look like fucking Sinbad, <laughs> don't she? she got, that's crazy. <laughs> that's funny. It's crazy. I know what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. I ain't gonna get off into this rant. Who right? Who wrong? I'm gonna try to out to be as judgmental as everybody else is on the internet. Everybody got their side. If you go on Twitter, man, I always say Twitter's like the cesspool of the internet. It's like the wild, wild west of idiots. Um, Definitely. It's like the the whole d divide is not based on truth. It's based on gender. Whether you hate men or you hate women, it seems, or you have some, a level of disdain for each side. Admittedly, on the women's side, it, it's it's heavy. They they are mad. They saying shit like y'all never supported Tory because he never had no hits. They start like going on shit like that. He's had his son in trial. He only taking his son, so y'all feel sorry for him. Why is she wearing purple? Which I'm not gonna get into that. I'm gonna get through this little shit. We're gonna summarize the case. He on trial for I think they call it assault. Or uh, aggravated assault where he allegedly shot her in the foot. Uh, she was found twerking two days later <laughs> after the bullet residues <laughs> was removed from her foot. Uh, I don't know who's guilty. I think this. he needs twerker compensation for that. That's that's what that is. Twerker's compensation. Ah, that that we need an infomercial. <laughs> that's the perfect Segway. time for a fucking right. infomercial, man. We gotta, we, get, we gotta get that. We gotta get that shit ASAP while it's hot. Strike while the iron's hot. Yes, um, I'm gonna read this article I just found today. First off, her best friend, her former best friend, I think her name Kesley, she had released a diss song to oh, Tupac, oh, hit him up, I and I shot it out here. Beef and this incident has broken up friendships. From what I, I don't, I'm not heavy into this shit, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but they said they was fighting over tour. Mm, mm, they said mm. they was in their fight. First and shit. She said that 
uh, the Kelsey girl, if I'm saying her name right. Uh, Kelsey or Kelsey. 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 Yeah, Kelsey. Oh, okay. And maybe Kelsey. They said that they was in the car and they had just left uh, Kylie Jenner crib or some shit. Right. I think I heard that too. And they said that she, I guess she didn't know that Megan and Tori was fucking. I feel like a gossiper. Forget me. Yeah. She didn't know they was fucking. And when it came to, she said, you always doing this. You always fucking behind me. You okay. Always. And they got into a squabble. <laughs> you better learn how to squabble. Oh, son. <laughs> teach your bitch how to squabble. <laughs> better teach your bitch how to squabble. squabble. It's squabble, nigga. Right. Oh, Jerome said squabble. No, nah, they West Coast is squabble. And I'm getting a condensed version. Mm -hmm. And they said that Daystar, a.k.a. Tori, that's a nigga named Daystar. Okay. They said he got out. They said he reached a little bit of ass midget arm up over the muffin. I don't know what they was driving, but I imagine that he was like this. Mm -hmm. He don't seem like he this nigga. They said he reached over that thing and started letting it go. Some people said that this happened. Some people said it didn't happen. Megan said that I was shooting. And we seen this last year, the year before that he yelled out unsurreptitiously. <laughs> Dance, bitch. <laughs> Dance, bitch. Listen, not since Yosemite Sam have I seen so much. <laughs> Listen, that is that in itself is horribly funny. To like have the wherewithal to think about every fucking comedy you seen in the <laughs> 80s and channel it in that particular moment, and you say, Dance, bitch. Oh, my and gosh. It, it goes down here. Stories vary from that point. I would give good money. I don't understand how we're in an age of technology where everything is recorded, where nobody was recording this shit, where did no camera get the dance bitch rhetoric going on at this particular time? Um, the Kelsey girl, she first said that he did do a lot of shooting. She recanted and said that she was under the influence of that alcohol, and she don't remember what happened. He's maintained that he never shot. Megan said that he has been shooting. I came up with this article today, which uh, talks about what happened today, and we're going to just read a little bit of this. Tory Lanez's defense team was thrown a curveball in court by a man who says he witnessed the roadside assault against Megan Thee Stallion in 2020. The man testified December the 20th that he seen a violent, quote unquote, violent brawl that first broke out between two women, followed by an angry male alleged to be Lanez, who was firing everywhere. Yeah, y'all! Court, court sessions opened Tuesday with Sean Kelly's testimony that he woke up to sounds of two women violently fighting by a car where they were pulling their hair and hitting each other. He said describing the interaction as quite violent. As reported, Law and Crimes' Megan Knuff is worthy. Oh, shit. It's worthy noting that Kelly called 911. He didn't report a shooting. He reported a group beating on a woman. And hold on. From just me, Megan's a big woman. Tori's a little dude. I'm sure that he was the littlest motherfucker in that car. It's like watching Prince on, on stage with the revolution. I imagine that he was the one getting beat up and the dude thought he was a woman. <laughs> he thought Tori was the woman. This little bitty motherfucker. Because you Cause he had his hair in too at the time. It, it was dude groggy. He, he had his hair in too. He had yeah. the long uh, yeah, weave yeah. in. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> he told the defense that he did not see someone he did not see someone fire a gun, but he said he just saw flashes. That's goofy. That's goofy. And he again testified that they came from the shorter gentleman, a term he repeatedly used describing <laughs> whose real name is Daystar Peters. Gotta make sure we throw that in there. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Who appeared to be very angry, making lots of noise. What noise like Hey, 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 pick me up, pick me up. What the, fuck was he, what the fuck was he doing? Hey, but again stated that he never saw a gun. That's that's damning, in my opinion. A confusing bit of no, a testimony since, as he continued to say that a woman had fired the first shot. Now, that's fucked up. That's a hell of a conflict right there. Is it two guns? <laughs> that's crazy. They didn't find two guns. Uh, I believe I saw the girl shoot first. He said that he didn't know she had a gun at the time. I believe it was fireworks. How in the fuck do you see people fire and you see something you think, oh shit, they remind me the fourth of July. Maybe they just threw down that lighter real fast. Yeah, man. And exploded. Kelly testified that he never heard anyone say dance, bitch, which is what Megan Thee Stallion, aka Megan Peters, claimed Peterson said before he opened fire. Kelsey Harris, the third woman in the scenario, and Pete's former friend had also previously denied that she heard this on the night of the shooting. 
Kelly said Kelly said everyone was fighting, even the driver. This is some funny this is shit. Too man. much, nigga. It's this another is, cartoon cloud again. This is mayhem. <laughs> this is mayhem. <laughs> even the driver. <laughs> that mother, get your feet off my seat. He just come running in with that flying elbow drop. On everything. He's a royal rumble. <laughs> um, and again, the other, the, Kelly said everyone was fighting, even the driver. And again, claimed that the shorter guy was pushing and fighting both girls. This nigga went. I can imagine he came in Definitely. windmilling back and forth. Quick, <laughs> quick, both of y'all my bitches. Quick, <laughs> quick, both of y'all my bitches. Break it up. Then this is, this is where it gets crazy. Then everyone started beating one girl. <laughs> And conclude. Wait, wait, wait. Get <laughs> like a fucking TV. I'm with that motherfucker into that clap the leg when they run it. Wait a second. <laughs> and concluded with his assumption that it appeared they were going to throw her in the rest. <laughs> this nigga got out of here. Right? This nigga had a hell of a story to tell, man. And then they're going to say, and then I seen Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? He grabbed her. He took her to the building. And she said, Somebody, I'm Mary Jane. This nigga got goofy. <laughs> this comes after the prosecution tried to add two new witness tampering charges in relation to tour, uh, Lane's allegedly bribing both Megan and Harris with a million dollars to stay quiet about the shooting. That motion was denied by the judge on the account that prosecutors had known since September what Harris' testimony would likely be. According to a report by Rolling Stones, if convicted as charged, Peterson faces more than 22 years in prison and deportation. If he is a camp, get your ass across that street. Can you imagine them off the street? You go, you see, you back up, cross that goddamn border. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Uh, your your thoughts on this girlfriend. whole situation? Do you, do you give a shit? Oh, well, I'm trying to understand this. Why you on that same bad outfit? No, okay. what happened with the damn the security guard that came up missing? That nigga said, I'm not going on that stand. Oh, he just dipped. Yeah, okay. he out. He they tried to make it seem like somebody disappeared, that nigga. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. No, that nigga, he just ain't going to court. <laughs> and then, uh, what was the other thing, the other notable thing? Yeah, this is just stupid as fuck, bro. It's super stupid. She did the, 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 she did the domestic, I'm sorry, uh, domestic violence survivor. I'm like, yeah, she, is shooting domestic violence. Did she get beat before this? She should have wore whatever it is for people jumping you. <laughs> she should have wore the outfit that it, it takes for people jumping you. Okay, that, they, they got off in her ass. I just try because I like they made a big deal about that, and then they're using her di her uh, this track as evidence in court too. Now it's the la latest piece of information too. To try to figure this whole, sort this whole fucking cartoon cloud Yeah, situation. her friend Kelsey made a diss track, which incidentally was reported two years ago. I don't understand, like, what is this? The world why is, is it weird. just not coming out? It's, it's being out. It's no, I'm saying, out. why is the information about this just being added into the trial? Like, the trial just started. Just, it, <laughs> I'm sure when she was rapping, she didn't know they was going to be on stage. Hold on, man. You tell I me guess. that ain't Tori and uh, Megan. <laughs> you gonna post that? Definitely. You know I am. You know I am. You ain't right. But it's all it's all crazy, man. And like I said, the whole energy of the whole thing they trying to push is this this war, this war with black women and black men. That man, if you go on Twitter, man, it's a whole nother fucking game out here. It, it's crazy. Twitter is crazy, man. Twitter's not a safe place. Blame Elon Musk. Twitter's the wild, wild west. Fucking alien. <laughs> Can we get in some hip hop leaders, semi hip hop? If we were first, first off, after this, I do want to highlight this that Megan said that she, uh, when she was on, because she took the stand last week, mm -hmm. she said that she was scared, nervous, whatever, that she, um, uh, she trying to get, she trying to, she trying to get this nigga in jail. Mm -hmm. And I say that because she said that the reason why she initially lied because it was fresh off the heels of the George Floyd incident. And she thought that if she told the police they were going to shoot him or she was going to get shot. If a nigga just shot you in your foot, he clearly was trying to kill you. So right there, fresh, it has to be fresh emotion. You just getting shot at. This is my personal view. You just getting shot at by a motherfucker. You're not that compassionate where you tell the police, I don't know what happened. Nobody shot me. If this nigga really busted it, you talking about dance, bitch, there's no protection. I don't, your heart's not that big. There's no protection. You didn't, when you getting fucking shot at, you not thinking shit about George Floyd and his lack of breathing. And that's why I'm like, yeah. nigga, y'all, that shit is funny. Y'all, you randomly grab the hottest shit. 
You said everything. Nigga, you see saying everything, yeah. but grabbed all, specifically the hottest shit. Mm. Black Lives Matter, George Floyd. Yeah. Domestic violence assault uh, survivor. And then what was the last one? Uh, uh, Probably Women's History Month or something. She, uh, she just, I forgot what the last one was, but she just exploit uh, using all of this shit yeah. conveniently. What she said too, though, she said that hip hop is a boys club. Throwing everything but the kitchen. She sink. don't understand that this gonna alienate her, which I don't. I don't know if she care or she don't understand the trajectory of what's going on, like how it's up and down. Hip hop, <clears throat> for the most part, is a forgiving business. Where oh, mental health, this, mental yeah, health. This is not the hip hop that we. Oh, the, the, the easy, that easy. I leave. Yeah. This is not the hip hop that we grew up on. It's super soft, and it's when we see how the, the world responded. Six, six, 69, 69. Yeah. It was kind of a pushback, but it's a lot, it's a lot more leeway in hip hop. Now you can be just full of bullshit and you can still thrive. But she she said hip hop is a boys' club. And she said she felt like everybody turned on everything. She's trying to play the sympathy card. And if she got shot, every card. If she got shot, she has the right to justice. But if you lying, you a piece of shit. So she she talk about how everybody in hip hop she don't know she's alienating these people and herself and she's not thinking about the long game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's say a lie get around the world before the truth even put get up to put his pants on for sure. Something to that effect, and it, it's crazy how people rush the judgment on each side. It was a lot of people was lambasting Tory at the beginning of this stuff, and they was just running with the narrative and things like that. Mm -hmm. And now they 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 back so you know what I'm saying they backtracking a lot of things they said mm -hmm. because. It's looking pretty murky. You know what I'm saying? It's rotten in Denmark. Something's rotten in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's an unfortunate event in any way. I don't know who's guilty. The verdict, this ain't for me like OJ in, in 95. They trying to do something to make another one like that. They man. trying to create that energy. They want that discord between us where it's hard for us to unite. And it's weird as shit. But I, I honestly don't care what the verdict is. Uh... It could be my daughter. I hope. I hope that I raise a daughter who's better. I'm gonna tell you somebody who's failing at that right now. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Jason Young. Jason Young. Ain't that that nigga name? Yeah, I guess it's Jason or Jason. Jason Young. Jason. Jason Young. This nigga's a clown. Shout out to Jason the game Taylor. for being a super duper clown. If y'all familiar with the rapper the game, I'm sure y'all heard about what's been going on in his very vaginal weird life. <laughs> He's out here parading his 12 years. Puffy had a Sweet 16 uh, party for his daughters, mm -hmm. his twin daughters. And they said that his his daughter was there 12 years old. And I seen, I was reading a hip-hop article on Hip Hop DX. I hate that website. Yeah. yeah. I used to like it back then. I used to like it, too. I'd be on there writing the uh, authors of articles <laughs> and stuff. I'd be telling you, you ain't going to write to critique hip-hop. You, I'd be sending all kinds of crazy shit. They don't ever respond to me. But he posted a... Uh, JCI, aka the gang, posted a picture of his daughter at this party. And it's crazy because the uh California Dream Taylor. Uh you said what? That's her name? Yeah. That, oh, she's bang she meant for porn. <laughs> That's what I was like, she, oh my she god. A future porn star. Oh my god. And look though, and I, and I feel okay saying that. Um she's 12 years old. And and the way hip hop DX described it, man, is just sick. They said a 12 year old and a Skin tight silver dress. I said, What? I said, I'm not looking at that. I said, Yes, I am. I said, I gotta see this shit to believe it. Destiny 11 years old. Destiny dressed like a little girl. She has a little girl. Like, quality. She's a, a 12 is a child. Except to who? Kels. Yeah, that's old enough for R. Kelly, but we're not talking about him right now. We're talking about the gang. She's on here, and it's crazy because it's sad. It's sad because I know the play. I know that this is what. Modern day child sacrifice is definitely parading out. Like, well, here we go, y'all. This is this is modern day child sacrifice. I imagine this is how Heather Hunter got started mm -hmm. in her illustrious career. Mm -hmm. um, Shout out to Heather Hunter. Word. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> this is sad. Uh, I don't. I don't understand. His his caption is "Somebody tell the Lord" in capitals. To help, she was just two years old a week ago. Now my baby is 12 years old, growing up, and it won't stop. Please follow, this is what he says, please follow her page. The old one has been hacked. That's so he, weird. He links her page 
disclaimer before the internet gets the internet and me and her mother agree to both me and her mother both agreed to let her do her makeup for the young and beautiful the cone sweet 16 that's her daughter that's his daughter. puffy daughters yep puffy first, daughters ain't no better first off they look just like they mama kia they look mm -hmm. just like her don't they but the puffy yes they, they 16 all, they but still they all selling out their daughters man this shit crazy that shit this crazy shit, that shit, i didn't see that fucking I just, it just popped up on my shit literally that shit crazy. The i thought you about to say they texted to you i'm about to get shit <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, listen. It takes it to my son. The game's out here trying to get his 12 year old daughter fucked. He's trying to get his 12 year old daughter fucked. There's no way around it. Mm. There's no way around it. Uh, album sale ain't doing too good. And the doctor that told him to go see is not fucking with him. He's clearly exploiting his children. And this, 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 this is sad. This is sad. I, I didn't even see. 16. Yeah, that was crazy. If I was 16 in school with them, they'd have got all my laughs. <laughs> This is crazy. These little girl future sluts. They future whores. Future. Well, they could be whores, but I'm going to give them Future current, guy. nigga. Like a you former current, the current future. <laughs> it's crazy and it's sad, man. Um, It's disgusting. It's, yeah, these it's even kids, hard man. for me to keep looking at. Yeah, like, I don't understand. Kids, Listen, this right here is something I never see, thought I'd see, but this is the equivalent of a, a woman trying to parade her son up like he get. He named the best basketball player in the fourth grade. She's like, this is my future NBA star. Like, she hands her whole success on a little eight-year-old basketball player because she want him to say, Mom, you're the real MVP. I, I imagine it, it's disgusting that... What's on her page? Listen, man, I went to her page. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. It ain't nothing but them pictures. It's crazy. She, listen... Yeah, he definitely putting out. He there. out here. He pimping his daughter. Damn. He pimping. I hate to say this, but he yeah. probably already tried. To, he probably didn't want to take a test drive. Mm, mm, mm. And that's and that's sad for me. I hate for it to be true. I hate for it to be true, but I don't know, man. It, 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 More likely than not. I know. I know. And it's coming from a father of an 11-year-old girl, be 12 and uh, March. There's nothing, there's nothing cool about this. Uh it's no way this is, should be acceptable, but we are in a time where debauchery is becoming normal, where it's just an indication of where we had it. As, and it's crazy how we latch on to this particular system. When I say us, I'm going to say for the lack of a better word, black people, how we follow this culture and the over-sexualizing. Shout this out was, to Les Wexner. Wexner. <laughs> 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 the maker of Victoria's Secrets, M brand, L brand, what is it? Uh, you know, Jeffrey Epstein, homie. The oh, yeah, yeah, homie. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm gonna start calling. Uh, no, because he did a campaign specifically geared toward kids. I yeah, mean, and it's on the hills of the Balenciaga shit where they was out there trying to do the little BDSM with the children. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All these people are Holly weird or weird. They all on some bullshit. I'm gonna start calling the game Black Jeff. Mm -hmm. He's the black Jeffrey Epstein. It's sad, and anybody who don't find something wrong with it is something wrong with them. They, you know they, what I'm saying? There's no way around it. Uh, they're gonna try to make you feel the other way because that's how this society set up right now. Definitely, and they're gonna be saying shit like you, you shouldn't judge them. That's their shit, and mm -hmm. that's what's wrong with us right they rich, now. So we they got it. They, they must know something. Definitely, Stupid. that's exactly how it is, man. Stupid. But you know, them, you yeah, them niggas out there hitting. They out there hitting young girls. Yeah, they're out here, and it's crazy because you a father uh, for Puffy. He's never been a uh, seemingly righteous person in my eye uh, anyway, but God damn, you already out here fucking with a city girl. You already so out kind here fucking so boys, kind? and you out here soliciting he your to, girl. He, he had to kill her mother so we can let him dress like sluts. Mm. That's sad, though, man. I pray, man, that Definitely pray. That this never happened. Fuck them. Fuck nah, them. I said yeah. definitely pray oh, for real. I don't think I'm say for them. Yeah. I'll just pray that I can just stay influential with my daughter's life where she never attracted to this particular lifestyle, man. It's yeah. scary. Yeah. It's scary. Gang just don't know he about to be a grandpa in nine months. And his and his son in law gonna be a forty two year old. Man, I can't wait to do the math on that. Gang member. Run this run this fucking clip back on everything. It's sad. And I'm not saying this shit like oh, it's not cool to me. It's not. It's just. It's sick for Speaking real. Speaking of family ties, and huh, this is this is really disgusting. And it's not to that same level. This is more sad than anything. Um, where are we at? Percy, the aforementioned Percy. The young people who don't understand what that is. We are talking about the Colonel of the Tank. Hey, the Colonel of the Golden Platinum Tank. 
Tech. I got Tech. big thing. We got big whatever. <laughs> Master P was a dominant force in the late '90s. He really financially benefited from Tupac dying. <laughs> It gave him like 70 songs to say R.I.P. Tupac. Uh, Slide this ghetto D. Master, Master P, he he did a phenomenal job of flipping. They say he took a 10,000 uh, life insurance policy and turned it into an empire. I'm trying to do that. Um, his son is not too satisfied with this empire. Which one? Is it per is it Hersey or Mercy? James Worthy. Because <laughs> he got Come two on. sons. Man, man Romeo, the only Percy, one. Mercy, Mercy, and Hersey, nigga. Romeo, the only one that matters. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. He, he the only one no, they could ball, though. They could ball. They top, top in the nation. What, Hooper? Yeah. You got sons who? Mercy and Hersey. I'm not trying to get that <laughs> shit. That's why. Listen, I, I'm going to condense this. Master P did something where he made a post about mental health. Uh, he was talking about the DJ Twitch from Ellen Show. Who allegedly killed himself? Yeah. And he made a big post about it. And Romeo, Romeo took exception to it, being that he had a sister who just killed herself a couple of years ago. And he said that Master P basically worried about everybody's own children. Uh, his daughter, they said, struggled from quote unquote mental health. I don't know what mental health is. I consider it just life. It's just life happening. There's no up and down button. It's just life. You ain't diagnosed, and you just saying shit. I hey, mean, what's a diagnosis? Man, I mean, I can diagnose crazy. My motherfucker, I can look into your brain. I guess I don't know. I'm man. trying to figure. I'm trying to see it. I'm trying to see it from that angle, man. Man, these motherfuckers get diagnosed from a fucking Facebook stat, nigga, or know. Instagram post. You're right. But I got diagnosed for marijuana, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not diagnosed. A, I got prescribed marijuana. I'm a perpetual weed. Yeah, that's so. But they did take exception. He took exception to Masterpiece. Um, the chips, nigga. Yeah. It's the no, chips. I, I, I guess I pulled up the wrong article. Like I said, Roman Hill got upset about the whole situation. Um, Romeo is proverbially snapping the olive branch that his dad, Master P, offered in half with yet another sound receipt, round of receipts that paint his dad as a money loving overlord. <laughs> and a scathing clapback. This is tw this is I TMZ. like over. No, that ain't bossip, nigga. This is Fuck TMZ. Shit, and a man. scathing <laughs> clapback. Romeo accused Master P of never paying any earnings from the family snap rap snack brands. <laughs> Claiming to have blindly supported the company for 15 years for a payoff that didn't come. It's sad that this accumulates to being over money. Always. To being over finances like this. Um, I'm not going to read this whole. This nigga wrote a, a hell of a. Uh, he definitely went, had a little tirade in a, uh, on the <laughs> He basically saying that he wasn't getting fucking paid. For his for his likeness on the chips. Basically, he's supposed to be getting paid for each bag. So I didn't know Master P on rap snacks. Yeah, nigga, this nigga getting money, bro. But I'm like, why Master P don't got a flavor? This shit came back in uh, 2002. What, rap snacks? Yeah, that shit been I out for a minute, that. bro. I used to see him at the gas station. I'm like, what? They had the Migos. They had Cardi B flavor. They had Bo Louisiana barbecue boozy juice. <laughs> They're good. They they making moves. The quality of the bags have improved over the years, and they've uh, got more. Um, I guess they've taken more people's likenesses without their uh, permission. Probably that's that's fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked. What you do? You go to store. You I don't see think yourself. he paying like what Cardi B. You see yourself for the bag of snack wrap snacks. I'll be like, nigga, that's me. What the fuck? That's crazy. Buy my chips. And it's crazy <laughs> with all this talk of mental health. Bow Wow Junior. A little Bow Wow Junior. Said that he's under the impression that his father's suffering from quote unquote mental health, mental illness. But we think they'll need a doc to be sure. Earlier today, Master P told TMZ Hip Hop he was dropping the mic on feuding with Romeo and focusing on un underprivileged children. This is exactly what he was talking about. You worry about everything except your own home. Get you some money out of it. This is insane <laughs> because helping the ungrateful is a waste of, of his time. First off, Romeo is in his 30s. I believe he's 33 years old. So he's a dog. Uh, this is what it says. Let's see how long the colonel can bite his tongue with Romeo throwing rounds at the tank. Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> in the words of Jay Z, nobody wins when the family feuds. Uh, <laughs> that is a trash ass article. Um, the, the, the whole thing. I think thing, that was Van, bro. No, I'm just playing. It could have been. 
For me though, man, it's That's sad. It's sad on so nigga. many levels. Um, it's sad because. We don't know what's going on. We only know what we see. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of pain here. And we see here the critique on their life. We critiquing on life between a father and son where pain is clearly a thing. And they critiquing. Has to be at that history without paying niggas money. We're bringing light to it. He probably told that nigga, man, listen, I ain't going to pay you for that, whatever, but I'm going to have your birthday party for your birthday. That nigga say, with my chips for my chips, nigga. Say what? <laughs> with my chips for my chips, nigga. Yeah, that's sad. But true, it's usually the case. Family, you know, don't think they could fuck you over because they like, nigga, it's me, baby. It's all good. Uh, I get you back because <laughs> you ain't hurting right now. And that nigga like, no, nigga, I need all my money in, nigga. I feel him, nigga. If I lose a quarter in the couch, nigga, I want my motherfucking quarter, nigga. So straight to that fuck, nigga, bro. he want that quarter for his bags of chips each quarter. That's and it. I and I wonder where like they fell apart at because it. It's a video where they was in 2019 trying to get Zion Williams to sign a $20 million shoe deal with them. Money Yachty. So it, 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 <laughs> where, where does this shit, what you say? Money Yachty. That's the brand of shoes they make. Are you serious? That's what it's Why called. the fuck do you know this shit? Because it's funny. That's a funny fucking word. I was like, Money Yachty? You got to tell that, me how to spell these. Money I'm some of these. Yachty. Like, I'm getting some of these. <laughs> Master Yo, P, is, hey man, I like, I like, I like Master P, but he's a goofball. That nigga is a goofball. I just saw a video of this nigga on um, on Instagram. This nigga walking on in a in a field like a uh, farm, nigga, and this nigga out there howling like a wolf, like I'm a wolf. Oh, oh, I'm a citizen. What the fuck? Wait a minute, what was nigga. Jeremy think about this? Nigga, he, I think Jeremy might be upset about this. He was like, "Well, you a wolf like me? You run with the wolves?" And he's just out there howling and shit. Worry about everything, but what the fuck is happening right now? There's other issues that that need to be handled, I guess. According to Romeo, can I be honest? Get you some money, Yadis. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm not hating on the money, Yadi. I'm not hating. You might, you might probably look up and see me out here, money, Yadi. Up. I'm not hating. You gonna get some money, Yadi? I shows? might. I might. I might, nigga. I might. It's gonna, it gotta be a clearance because can't nobody be wearing this shit. I just don't understand money yachty. Like that's a funny. I don't understand. Maybe because it's a funny word. Get you some money yachty. I'm getting me some money yachty. I'm getting me a money yachty hoodie. Like, I want clearance. Money yachty. And, and I'm gonna show Romeo how you appreciate Master <laughs> P. <laughs> Celebrate your dad's greatness, nigga. Yeah, this shit costs too much. How much? How much for a money? To yachty? me. I'm, no, how much? A clearance hoodie is sixty dollars. Nigga, no. Is that expensive to you? Yeah, because I'm. I know I'm. I'm in poverty, so I'll. Nigga, see I'll shop at Burlington Co. Factory. I'm not paying that you for no hoodie. Real? Nigga, yeah. That's why. That's why you be getting big ass pants. At. That's yeah. That's why my clothes are regular, nigga. <laughs> My neck hole small, my head big, nigga. Which one? <laughs> oh, I'll put my arm in here. <laughs> but it, I just ain't gonna sad. raise my arms. That's it's all. A, it's, a, it's a sad situation. I'm getting this money out of these uh, hoodie, though. <laughs> I want some money out of this black and gold, cold in the bitch, man. I feel like I'm the colonel of the tank if I put that on. They you fake red bottoms. Today? Listen, you gonna see me with them motherfuckers on eating rap snacks next show. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, Bow Wow. <laughs> You need to get on board this on this tank with us. I hear the boozy ones taste like Grippos. No, O O Z Y O O Z Y Boozy. But uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's 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 rough out there in the hip hop land. They be raising their daughters out here and shit. Hip hop, they like they like the new they like the new, new Corey Feldman and Corey Haynes generation. It's scary. Yeah, it is. Twenty years from now, we hear about they getting fucked by their parents. It's sad. And something else I found out sad, which we talked about Master P's daughter. They said they, uh, she was getting high with her mom. What? Ain't that crazy? Hell yeah. That money, man. That money don't do shit but cause grief for them. I'll take it around with you. <laughs> I, I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you how to do this, hon. Anything you got you saying clothing? Any shows coming or anything? Uh, of not, sort? not any, not any uh, uh, on, on the uh, coming up, any live shows coming up. Uh, me and Lance doing a little video show. I guess you can call it a podcast. I don't know how it's a podcast if it's not podcasting anywhere yet, but uh, it's a video show. It's not out yet. Called. Nigga, look at this. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah. That's what's and, up. Uh, it's just a, like a clip show. We just talking shit and showing clips. and Almost like web jump. Yeah, more or less. Like we just zooming and shit. Yeah. So it's cool though. It's still fun. We just had to work out the fucking technicalities and the kinks and shit, but it's coming soon for real. 
Yeah, we're gonna have a decent show next week, man. You're gonna wrap up. See if we get a couple of old guys to get the band together. This is all oh, that is that. Hell Damn. yeah, you been you ain't busy next week, like next Tuesday. If you are, you are. No, because the show is not pre recorded in any way. <laughs> 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 I'm hey, never busy. <laughs> that shit funny. Oh, that shit funny. We'll be back next week. We'll get same some. bad channel, same bad time. Well, I know we're going to follow at Go Jason R. Say that shit again. Follow at Go Jason R on all social media Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and TikTok, nigga. And uh, make sure y'all follow you at don't TCK. Need or talk. Nigga, but still, you can still follow me. Uh, at, uh, and follow race. at TCK. No, we know we did. No, we did. I forgot you changed it again. The conceited That's nobody. The conceited nobody is what it is now, nigga. Follow us. Check y'all next week. Peace, niggas. Game door. They're gonna get fucked. <laughs>